Hi everybody, last but not least, my air sign friends. Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. We're taking a look at the week ahead. Uh, the week, um, let's see, May 28th through June the 3rd, 4th, somewhere in that neighborhood. But from now, through the Memorial Day holiday, if you're here in the U.S., and you're celebrating Memorial Day or you're honoring someone, bless you if you've served anywhere in this world, bless you if you're serving now. Good Lord, in this day and age, we thank you very much for everything that you do, and that's all I have to say on that subject. Now, a few quick notes. Uh, if you want a reading meant just for you, Contact me through my website or my email address directly. I will get back to you. Uh, I will have to send you an invoice, but the process is quick and it's very, very simple. Uh, I'm also running a special at my YouTube channel. Uh, no, at my website. Sorry. Oh, I've been going at this for three hours now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath, Nancy. All right. If you want a reading mentos for you, touch me. I'll get back to you. If you want uh, to look at um, some love videos, energy videos for your particular sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, that's my Vimeo channel. You can find those readings there. Now, now we're ready. Air signs. Let's take a look at my air signs. We're going to go Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius in that order. But first I want to see what energy your element is giving off. I've had a lot of swords energy this week, guys. I really think it's because my air signs are kind of ruling the show right now. We are in Gemini now, after all, aren't we? The tower. Old ways of doing things. The world. Oh, another one of these messages. Okay. Who? I'm clearing my mind. I'm clearing. I'm clearing. I'm clearing. Now that's two. I want the one on the top. Nine of Wands. Okay. What do you want to change about your life? Air signs? Is there an old situation that you're ready to let go of? Is there some place in this world you really want to view from a new perspective? I think for many of you, there's you're coming out of, period, out of a period of maybe darkness or endings, almost tragic endings on a lot of levels on the world stage. There's been a lot of this, and this is why it was it was water signs who had this too. I think I don't remember anymore. Uh, the world was at the center of that, too. Here, it's Gemini, and that's good. But here for Libra, we've got endings, certain endings, certain beginnings. But something that is necessary to come to, an halt, to a halt looks like it's going to be brought to that place. There's a battle going on here. There's a struggle, a fight. We've felt the fight, but we've risen above. We've risen above all of the crap that's coming at us. And we're getting ready to put a fresh coat of paint on the situation. We're looking to freshen things up, to start something new. But for air signs in general, on a very large scale, it could be on the world stage. Struggles, fights, 
um, observing it all happening, maybe rising above it all, but still watching the activity as it happens, maybe taking a different perspective of what is happening on a large scale or even in your own little world. But there are changes coming, drastic changes for some, the kind of changes that change your world. They're life changes. But there's usually a better day after the Nine of Wands. You've really overcome the hardships, and now you feel pretty hopeful about what stands in front of you. And it's because of the battles that you fought. It's due to the things that you've done and the battles that you've won. Now, that's what I've got for your element. Let's look at Libra at six minutes. Exactly, we put you, Libra. All right. One of my other signs started at six, too. Hmm. Six may be important for you guys right now. We may be talking about the sixth month which is June. For Libra, it may be a very important time. A time for changes coming at you. If you're traveling, especially during this week, be prepared. Be prepared to keep yourself occupied. There may be delays because of things happening in the world. Could be due to weather, could be due to world occurrences. We have to keep our eyes on things, especially, Libra, if you're traveling this week. It may even be later on in the month. Libra, the Hierophant. You're concentrating. Concentrating on things that are of a moral standing. Uh, you may be looking to be more unconventional with your approach. Something is happening here, but it's a major occurrence in your life. It talks about doing the best, the, the better thing. It's about choosing the right over the wrong. It's choosing positive over the negative, the good over the evil. This is very much, to me, it talks about the moral issues happening here with this ending. Now we have the Knight of Wands. Well, he has a desire. He has his directive. He may be there to fix a situation for you. Again, this fixer of problems. I mean, he fixes the leaks. Okay? He takes care of this unusually passionate problem. He brings a problem in my observation of this reading. The power brings a negative, or at the end of something negative. It's not a negative ending here because we're taking the higher ground. So whatever may be coming to an end for Libra here, you're really taking the higher ground. You are directing yourself towards what it is you're passionate about. Passionate about. This guy is either passionate about biking, and you may be too, or he's passionate about his plumbing. Either or, there's a direction, there's a focus, there's something there that may need fixing, or may need adjustment, but I see that through maybe even unconventional ideas, there are answers. Now we have the Eight of Wands. Look for changes, things that happen quickly this week for you. I think, Libra, this may bring satisfying situations on many levels, on bigger levels. Uh, around what it is that you want to accomplish or around the things that are happening in your life at this time. I think change is imminent this week for some of you. And rapid change that is. But this is saying you've got to be ready to jump on your broom 
and take a ride and just go with things because you're going to get carried through by this energy, by this swift movement during this week. Go for what it is that you want. Stay focused on that thing and go with the greater good. Go with the thing that takes you to a higher level. The all-important higher ground is what's really essential at this time. You're going through changes or the world is even going through changes around you. You need to be ready to go with the flow on things. There is a bit of justified movement around a young passionate energy. And I don't know if I'm getting this message directly connected to something on the world stage or something in, on a more private level for you. But I think you're dealing with an energy here that has some aggression. And absolutely is focused. But what is he focused on? Because there's an ending here. It could be the ending that he brings. But it's always positive. It's a good flow of energy. But it's something that may take you by surprise. It may be something that Seven of Swords. There may be a conflict of some kind around the situation. But the change that comes around this conflict happens swiftly. And that's why it's an easier transition for you on whatever level this is, is taking you. If it's personal, if it's global, it's still going to happen swiftly. And I really feel that there's a more positive ending here. Let me see. This one was the one. The seven of cups now. I think you may be overcome. Overcome with the emotions this week. Don't be clouded by rose-colored glasses. Don't be thinking that just because something happens here and I keep getting good or bad but I think we're leaning towards something more of the good energy here I think we should not get caught up with rose colored glasses we shouldn't get clouded over by dreams of fantasy by unrealistic expectations this is saying, let's not make any presumptions with whatever is happening here. Progress feels good. It feels positive. But let's keep a more realistic opinion over what this is that's changing here. It's conflictive for some of you, and it happens quickly to change. Let's not get caught up in unrealistic expectations with this. It's positive, it's hopeful, but it can also cloud your judgment. So let's <clears throat> try to keep clarity in our thinking here while we're wrapping up the situation. That's what I've got for Libra. Now, let's take a look at Gemini. So Gemini, you are at 14, 15. All right, Gemini, let's look at what's going on for Gemini. You guys are dealing with changes. Changes in your world, changes in your life. Making adjustments, maybe traveling. Ten of Wands jumped out of the deck. This is the card of letting something go. Letting something go. I think with this card of the world here, and, and the tower brings the ending with it. I think that's for certain for some of you. Whatever this ending is with the Ten of Wands, 
whatever burden you're laying to the side and giving up here, whether it's a conflict with in your marriage or within your family, it starts to shift your world. The choice to end negative energy, to me towards someone or something in your life that's been burdensome, it feels very good. It feels like you're getting a weight off of your chest, as if you've decided to lay down the grievance with someone and you're looking at that relationship with new eyes and it takes on a new spin a new characteristics it takes on a different life this relationship that's changing here because you're releasing the hardship you're releasing the bad energy the negative feelings and for me, the ending of something is here, but it moves you towards the Ace of Wands, which is the new beginning. We've got fulfillment. We've got some happiness. We've got growth. But more than anything, we're ending cycles. We're ending the cycles that are no longer workable in our life. And we're, what we're really seeking here is, I think, happiness. For some of you, your directive is really about being happy because the burden has kept you trapped in a negative mental space. Some of you, because of this burden, have been unhappy, depressed, tearful, upset, but searching for a new way, searching for a new communication maybe with someone, with something. You're laying down the burden. And the burden for me, for some of you, is the place, the mental place that the burden has had you in. Have you been in conflict with someone or something? But this always says the release feels so transformational. It makes you feel new. And it feels like it repairs a broken situation or a broken relationship. A hangman. For some of you, it's freeing you up. Some of you have been in a space of sacrifice, at a standstill in a relationship, almost like you've been at a stalemate, tied down. But the simple the simple release of this burden also frees you up. It takes you out of a place of being stalled out, delayed, in one way or another. Some of you are really uh, freeing yourselves up from a delay because you're a stronger person now. You've accomplished something or you've grown in one way or another. And this situation, this place of thoughtful intolerance, is no longer essential in your life because you're stronger now. You have maybe more confidence because this is no longer a burden in your life. You're releasing it. And so this may be incredibly important for Gemini passing through this week because you're really feeling better about this relationship, about this situation there is a brand new strength being felt here because you let go of maybe what i think is really negative inner dialogue for uh, in yourself and it's directed at what i feel might be a partnership that you have really kind of been at a hang up about but you're changing your perspective and you're looking at this partner 
or the situation in a brand new way because you've grown. And maybe you've outgrown this in your world. It's no longer working for you. It's time to grow. And that possibility comes with the Ace of Wands. That's what I got for you, Gemini. Now, we want to look at Aquarius. What have we got for Aquarius at 20.30? Here we go. A little sip first. Thank you. I've been talking for almost four hours. Here we go. First we have, well, next we have Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, we're ready to roll on you guys. Uh, hmm, nine of Wands. O overcoming. Overcoming the difficulty, looking at things with a new perspective. Having a new passion in life. Really kind of embracing uh, the struggle and the growth at the same time. Let's see what we've got for you guys. So, I think you're wanting to make major shifts and changes in your life. You may be looking to travel. You may be looking to add to the family, to buy a home, take a trip, maybe change your body in one way or another. There's a life-shifting change, Aquarius, that you're looking to make here. For a lot of you, I am seeing that you're a little bit conflicted with where you're living. Some of the situations around you feel like they may be explosive. Maybe the neighborhood is changing in drastic ways. Maybe there's more conflict on the streets of where you're living and you're wanting to change your place on the map. You're thinking about a new home because it feels to me like you're trying to rise above any negative activity that might be happening around you and trying to figure out a way to move yourself to a new place in this world because I think you're feeling during this month that there are situations kind of opening up around you that may be forcing you to take a look at your current situation in a new way. Whether it's where you work, whether it's where you live, whether it's the people you're involved with. Again, I'm feeling you feel like you're maybe kind of out on a perch where you're at. With whatever situation, you feel a little bit like you're kind of having to look at the world from a window. And maybe what's happening in the streets below you is conflicting for you in one way or another. Let's take a look. Next we have the Nine of Cups. For some of you, I think for some of you, you live on a street where there's a lot of festivities, a lot of partying, but I think not all of it is positive. And that's why you're questioning your neighborhood. And, and this may be a, a very busy season for that kind of thing. You've got holidays, you've got graduations, you've got birthdays, you've got summer outdoor weddings that are happening two doors down that go until three in the morning. I understand what you're feeling here. We had a graduation party go next door until three in the morning last night. And the, the rap went all night long. My walls were shaking. But anyway, this says, you know, that kind of overjoy may be going on in your life and those festivities may be putting you in a place of re-examining your situation. You may have an overabundance of people who are enjoying themselves maybe a little bit too much and disruptive to your flow. Queen of Cups. Uh, for now, you may have to embrace the situation. Where you sit right now, I think for some of you, you're thinking it's better to embrace it and accept it and be nurturing of yourself in a situation that feels like is a little bit irritating to you right now. Accept it because I think at some point that situation, you're either going to find yourself relatively happy in a new living situation 
or all of that activity is going to tone itself down. It may just be that for the next week or so, you're in a hot bed of activity in one way or another. You're again, you're asking care for yourself. Keep a cool head. Do you see how she's adding ice to her drink? She's cooling things down. So keep a cooler head because all of this activity that may be rocking your boat a little bit, that may have you kind of rising above and just observing what's going on around you, you may need to keep cool, keep calm in the situation. Three of Wands. Uh, again, uh, keep your nose to the grindstone. If things around you are, be, are in a state of upheaval or upset, I don't know if it's going to be long. It seems to me that you may have a lot of activities going on within the community that maybe have you a little bit tired. Uh, though, again, I'm feeling loud parties, people enjoying their enjoyments. But for some reason, Aquarius is rather annoyed with what is going on around you. I think you feel like you could use a little bit less activity and a little more peace, a little more nurturing in your life. The lovers, a little more nurturing in your life might be nice, Aquarius. But again, this is acceptance. It's maybe having your fun. This is about really loving things, loving the things that happen in your life but realizing not all of those situations are going to be perfect. Not every situation is going to be ideal. You're going to have to take the good with the bad, especially for you this week. I really think there are a lot of revelers around you, a lot of joy going on in the community, and some of those situations may be putting you in a bad place, Aquarius. Now, don't be the old lady yelling at the kids out of your window because she can be queen bitch. She can really cut people's heads off when she's had enough. If you notice, she's got a, some pruning shears in her hands. She's about to cut somebody's head off. She's judgmental. You may be dealing with someone around you that's like this, but this is your energy. This is you. And you may find yourself in a situation where you're just wanting to close off the world and have some peace. Nurture yourself. Close your windows. Turn on your air conditioners, if you must, to shut people off. I think for you, Aquarius, this situation is temporary. I'm being guided to take this card. And this is two cards. Judgment. Well, at some point, the revelers may be called out. Too much reveling, which is what I'm getting from that. That's going to be the end of the situation. Don't be the one that calls out the police on the kids next door because they're only going to remember that crap. Let somebody from down the street deal with them at 3 in the morning. Trust me, someone will call the cops. This is telling me don't be the one to make that judgment. It may not go well for you. Your job right now is to maintain peace and harmony in your neighborhood. There's a reason why. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles. You're wondering here, is this situation, for whoever this is, is this situation worth what I'm going through here? Is it worth my peace of mind being sacrificed? And you really, some of you really are looking to change. 
your place on the map. Because right now it feels like you're wanting to end the, the cycles that aren't working for you anymore. And for some reason or another, my Aquarian, Sun, Moon, or Rising, some of you feel like you're just not satisfied. I feel that even some of you have moved recently and you're just not satisfied with where it is that you're living. There's more that you want. There are places you want to go. There is direction that you would like to take in your life. Those changes are part of some of your assessment of what's going on in your life right now. Some of you, not all of you. If none of this resonated with any of you, check your moon and rising signs. If this was your sun sign, check your Mars, your Saturn, your Venus, Mercury, whatever resonates most with you. Check those signs out. There may be messages for you there. Take what you can. Leave the rest behind. Okay, guys, that's what I've got for you. Again, private readings information down below. Vimeo channel information down below. And until the next time, have a wonderful week, Air Signs. Take care, be well, and peace.